video. This one's going to be a fun one because I'm doing my hair and I know you all love the hair videos even though I try to tell y'all I'm no longer a hair influencer. <laughs> Um, I actually wasn't even planning on doing this specific video this week, but I just had such an amazing wash and go last week that I was like, oh, yes, I have to show it. I have to showcase the process. I have to showcase the products um, because I haven't been like loving my wash and goes lately. So I'm really happy that I found an arsenal of products that I'm really, really liking that have been doing a really great job with my hair. So I kind of mentioned it in another video. I think um, I can't remember but I think I did but basically you know I was straightening my hair over the summer and it was fine I was getting it professionally straightened and everything was great and then I took it upon myself to try to touch up my hair on my own <laughs> And let's just say, although I am very good at doing my hair, I don't have the magic touch like Danny does and I cause a lot of heat damage. Well, not like terrible heat damage, but heat damage in the leave out because at the time I was wearing a U-part wig. So I caused some heat damage in the front of my hair, like the hair strands in the front um, are not as tightly curled as they used to be. So I've been really struggling to find like a wash and go that looks good for me. And I do do twist outs every so often, but I really just like miss that big voluminous wash and go look. So while working with Shea Moisture a few weeks ago, they actually gave me a gift bag um, with some products and in it was some defining styling gel. And y'all know I'm very loyal to a specific styling gel that I think has done a really great job for my wash and goes, but I decided to give this one a try and I really, really, really loved the results. Not to mention my hair was defined for literally a week, like a little bit over a week and it looked amazing. So we're about to recreate that style today and make a little cute day one wash and go look. Yeah, so I'm just gonna walk you through the styling process like I always do. Oh my God, I wanna apologize for the uh, the washing portion of this video, having to look at my terrible pimple. <laughs> I put a zit sticker on it, so hopefully it'll go down uh, in the next few hours and uh, tomorrow my pimple will be, you know, flat and not as hideous as it was in the shower. I was like recording and I was like, oh my God, why? So anyways, let's let's get into the styling part of this. Section, section, sections. It's super important to make sure that your hair is sectioned off because when you're doing a wash and go style, you wanna make sure that your hair is going to be properly moisturized in all areas. You wanna make sure that you are also detangling constantly. So I detangled already twice in the shower. I detangled when I first put in my conditioner and then I detangled again while I was washing the conditioner out and now we're about to detangle one more time again that's the best way to make sure that you get a nice and defined long-lasting wash and go so I'm going to use this Madam CJ Walker um, detangling leave-in conditioner and I really like this I actually had a partnership with Madam CJ Walker and I really really do enjoy their products I feel like their products really like nourish my hair and lock in that hydration which I love so I'm gonna add this to my hair and as I mentioned I'm just gonna go through and detangle it again <laughs> and it's their new um, coconut and hibiscus defining styling gel and oh, coconut and hibiscus and flaxseed defining styling gel. Um, I've come to realize that when it comes to gel, flaxseed is the key ingredient that works for me really, really well. Um, and yeah, I really love it. 
and I like it because it has a nice consistency as well. Not like too, it's not watery or anything, so you can tell that it actually has like a good hold to it, which I like a lot. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna detangle, add in the gel, and rake through as I do that. Um, and this is gonna help to make sure that all of my hair strands are coated with the product and that they get the nice moisture and definition that they need. products and now I'm gonna go in and diffuse my hair um, I haven't been letting my hair air dry lately I feel like it looks better with it being diffused and especially in the winter months having it diffusing your hair is way better because you don't want it to break you don't want it to have any damage to it so diffusing is definitely the way to go so about to diffuse my hair and then show you the final results together after my hair dried and voila it's bouncy voluminous soft which I think is really 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 good especially for a wash and go especially when you're using gel for a wash and go a lot of times your hair can feel crunchy it can feel lifeless but I really really love this gel and leave-in conditioner combination because my hair feels truly very, very soft afterwards. So that is my current wash and go routine. And I'm feeling really good about it. Oh, and I, you know, I used to have it in the, I used to have a middle part, but now I have like a little side situation going on. I feel like it gives my hair a little bit more body and whatnot, so I'm into it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know I haven't done a hair tutorial in a very long time, but um, I was just too excited by these results. So I had to put something together and showcase my current wash and go routine. So thank you so much for watching. And I put all the details below for all the products that I used in case you want to grab any of these products for yourself. So thank you so much again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or feedback, please be sure to leave them in the captions in the comment section below. And if you like this video, of course, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you know when my next video goes live. Thank you so much again for watching. Until next time.